seen Star Wars about a dozen times. I've seen Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Similar record-breaking crowds gather at the openings in Australia and England. Eager moviegoers rewrite the record books around the world as George Lucas's science fiction adventure becomes an unprecedented international phenomenon. There has indeed been nothing like it in the history of the movies. You are about to become part of the phenomena of Star Wars. In a few minutes, you'll see a movie that's become more than just a movie. For seven years now, it's been part of my life, and the saga it's given birth to has touched the lives of millions of others. It has a magic, Star Wars. That magic doesn't lie only in its brilliant special effects. Its power derives from its spirit of romance and adventure. It's like the movies and cliffhanging serials of the past. It's an exciting and very special fantasy. And when it came out, the world went instantly Star Wars crazy. In the modern world, success can't be confined to one medium. It spills over into every area of our lives. And so it was from the very beginning with Star Wars. It spawned more star wares than anyone could count. Its creatures, its music, its models, it permeated our culture. Within minutes, it seems, collectors were vying to be the first to own the newest Star Wars product. But after three movies, the title of champion collector probably must go to the Steuben family of New Kensington, Pennsylvania. The Steubens seem to live, breathe, and eat Star Wars. Their collection is said to be worth over $15,000. But what value can be placed on the affection the world beamed to the film's two metallic megastars? R2-D2 and C-3PO were in the forefront of the honors bestowed on the picture. While they got to make their indelible impressions in the cement outside Hollywood's Chinese theater, the movie collected innumerable awards, including six coveted Oscars. But perhaps the true measure of the film's success can be taken by assessing its power to touch the lives of its viewers. It isn't so much that the film set box office records wherever it played, but rather that it played such a large role in the lives of many who came to see it. They came and they waited for Star Wars and for each of the two sequels that followed. In city after city across America, the same scenario was repeatedly played out. People will camp out overnight to see the Rose Parade. And, um... And this is worth at least three times as good as the Rose Parade, so we're here for three times as long. We've been here for six days, and it's great! Some even got married in Star Wars movie lines and spent their honeymoons inside at the movies. George Lucas, at the time, explained the fascination with Star Wars. I think one of the key factors in the uh, success is that it's a positive film, it has heroes and villains, and uh, that it essentially uh, is a fun movie to watch. The message of Star Wars reached out beyond the movie when President Reagan sent a telegram to Sally Ride aboard the Challenger saying, May the Force be with you. Even Walter Cronkite, the eminence grease of America's space communication network, visited George Lucas in his intergalactic workshop. Cronkite, in a television special, commented on the possible lasting impact of Star Wars. The complicated mixture of sophisticated technology, space-age machinery, and starry-eyed fantasy in today's science fiction films just may serve as inspiration for a coming generation of scientists. Once it was released, the impact of Star Wars was obviously great. But during the making of it, none of us had the slightest idea of what was to come. We were making a movie, and we were enjoying it. Harrison Ford was asked at the time how much fun it was. It was a lot of fun. How much fun? Um, 
about this much. And even more. More fun to make and much, much more fun to watch. And now, what has to be one of the most extraordinary moments in movie history. The beginning of the Star Wars saga.